Kai Pung Tang, a CEO with Ad Value Tech. Thanks for joining us on Australia in Space Thank TV. Thank you for inviting me. Yes. And welcome to, uh, well, I won't say welcome to Singapore, you're based in Singapore, <laughs> but welcome to GSTC exactly. once again. Yes. Um, we, yeah. we were at a session yesterday with Vast. Uh -huh. uh, you guys are working with Vast yes. uh, on the Haven One project. Yes. And mm -hmm. The update just yesterday. Maybe you just give us an update with what you're doing with Vast. Uh, you're okay. going to launch for next year, right? That's right. Uh, <coughs> Vast is a uh, commercial space station. Uh, uh, what's called uh, manufacturer that yep. going to launch a space station uh, uh, with the intent to replace the international ISS. You know, in the near future. So what happened is that we started talking to them a couple of years back when they intend to install IDIS for their space mission. So they cut the deal with us to purchase the IDS terminals and this year we have already delivered uh, the terminal for them to uh, install on their Haven 1 space capsule which yes. is due to be launched next year. And what type of testing has been done? Uh, it's all been tested and installed? It's all, uh, well, we, we delivered the hardware to them. Got it. So they would uh, follow our uh, instruction in yep. terms of how to interface with the set bus in terms of how to interface with the onboard computer and do all this necessary connectivity testing yep. and in order to make sure that it's ready you know, for your launch and mission. Yeah. This is for their radio frequency communications, yeah, right? That's right. Ready. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're using the L band as you know, IDRS. Got that's it. Right. Yeah. And maybe introduce us to IDRS, uh, just yeah. for the audience who doesn't know, but it's an inter-satellite communication system. IDRS stands for Inter-Satellite uh, Data Relay uh, System. Is a solution that we introduced in year 2020. 2020 yeah, uh, it is a technology uh, that we learn when we uh, develop ground uh, terminals, satellite terminals for the Imarsat system called BGAN network. Yeah, and we started that uh, development way back in uh, 20, 2004. Okay, right. so. Before we so twenty years old. 20, yeah, it's more than that. Twenty one. Okay, yeah, 21, <laughs> okay. So what happened is that we thought there was a problem uh, faced by the Leo satellite operators at that time, and with our understanding on the big end technology and the satellite uh, terminal developments uh, experience, we thought of uh, leverage you know our know how and elevate our know how for space use. So when the idea came to me, you know, I start to talk to Singapore government EDB about the idea of developing space-based uh, satellite terminals right. for real satellite operators. So it took about uh, two, uh, three to four years to be able to come to the commercialization stage uh, after we have successfully launched the in-orbit uh, testing in year 2015 to 2017. And I understand D-Orbit is using this as well, but how many are, are kind of within the IDRS sort of band? Right, uh, okay, you are talking the number of customers we have? Yeah, okay. just in terms of how common this is and... Yeah, uh, it is, uh, we have uh, close to 20 customers by now. Yes. And we have um, probably about 16 to 18 satellite up there using our terminals. Yep. Uh, including uh, uh, customers like uh, IQPS, Kepler Space, and so on. And um, yeah, can I ask what's the what's the business model? Do they pay on the data transmitted, or is the subscription we, we, model? We, uh, we offer a sort of one-stop shop solution to them. Uh, of course, they buy the terminal from us. Right. We talk to them, uh, you know, giving them a consultancy how to integrate with the terminal onto the set bus. Yep. And we also provide data plan service. Got it. It's just like your handphone, you need a data yes. plan. So we but you sell the hardware first, first and, and then there's a data plan exactly, that comes along exactly, afterwards. Exactly, yes. And is there any limitation on how they use that? Or there's no limitation yeah, because right. the idea is why it is uh, it's a paradigm shift you know, uh, yeah. for, the, for the satellite industry in the sense that it doesn't have to rely on the rigid scattering with the ground station. Yes. Okay. So what it does is that uh, it relates the data through the geo satellites of uh, the Viasat in the yep. big end system, and therefore uh, the satellite is always able to see the real satellites anytime, anywhere, 24 by 7. And once the connection is there, it is persistent. There's no break at all. And what is there any improvements on the amount of data bandwidth or anything like that, or is this a, a fixed product? Is there any you know, sort of ongoing development? Well, we are looking at higher higher bandwidth, of course. Yep. You know, and I think just by where are you now at what sort of bandwidth? Uh, we're probably looking at the KA band as okay. the next step. Yep. But I think L band has its own uh, unique characteristics. 
easy to point. Yeah. Uh, the payroll is very small, something like this. And right. the next generation. Right. So it's that small. small. Yeah. And is it, that's the real weight that's as well? That's the real weight as well. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. less than one kilo. Yeah. And things like that. So, and this is how the antenna look like. You know, it's pretty. Yeah. Easy and um, so it's very easy to install. Yeah. So when top of application, it's very easy for the uh, to point you know the antenna to the dual satellites. Yes. So, and it actually make it easy for the real operators to adopt it. You know, for operation like TTNC, for example, or normally they do have a constellation of 10, 20, or even hundreds of uh, satellites. So they would like to have the kind of technology for them to be able to manage their satellites, yeah. the whole constellation. We've got a session today on secure communications. Uh, yeah. What's the sort of RF? Is there an encryption uh, signal or what's the security around uh, it? Within the email set or Viosat system, it has some uh, special uh, encryption already, but the customer is always welcome to put their end-to-end -end encryption overlay there. Is there a standard encryption, 128 or something like that? Uh, it is the standard encryption. Uh, yeah. The okay. ESC, uh, ESC, is it up? Uh, but they can they can up they can that up encryption. That, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. Right. Very good. Well, I'm glad we had the opportunity to speak Thank to you. Thank you for inviting. K Peng Tan, the CEO with Ad Value Tech uh, here in Singapore at GSTC. Yes. Thanks for work. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoy Singapore. Um, every single time I'm here. Okay. But thanks for joining us on Australian Thank Space Thank TV. You. Thank you.